Hey YouTube, Wheelchair21, and this is the Transformers review for Dark of the Moon, Voyager Class, Shockwave. I almost said Soundwave. Wanted to say Soundwave because I always get these two confused. Um, this is the first in Dark of the Moon. Shockwave was bullshitted by Michael Bay as the main protagonist. He's the Cybertronian tank. And he looks pretty badass except for this little energy coil for his power up. I, I find it pretty awesome. He kind of looks kind of like that Unicron from Cybertron, like Deluxe Class. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, he didn't do much in the movie. He pretty much just fucking did nothing except had three lines voiced by Frank Welker and not Corey Burton. And I don't even think he even used his tank form. And if he did, he only used it for like 30 seconds in the goddamn film. I don't even remember. I mean, what the hell? I mean, Dark of the Moon really fucked up, uh, not Soundwave, but Shockwave, I meant to say. I keep calling him Soundwave. So if you hear me call him Soundwave, that's one of my biggest pe peeves that annoys people because I mix up the two quite a bit with Shockwave, the Soundwave, and it's annoying for me too. So it's it's this is a cool tank. Um the coil is one of the biggest pains in the ass when transforming this figure because it usually pops out on you and like there it's a big thing, so I usually uncork it when I want to transform him. Uh so it's easier to transform. And the first thing I usually do is for transformation is you pull up the arms and they're pretty easy to pull up and unlock. And that's one of the easiest steps to do. Uh, following that, you just start... After you get the arms down... Well, maybe I should take the mech tech arm off and show you the mech tech ability. Yeah, so this is the mech tech gun. It's, um, you know, Shockwave's laser rail gun. And it has a cool mech tech ability where you press this up... And it pops these up, these two little side cannons. So, so it does this. And it can actually lock into place. If you see right there, that little notch... Right there, it locks into place. And it extends out to be like this for his cannon. Uh, after you you get the arms up, the best thing usually is to actually try to unhook the legs by first pulling this down, by pulling his front uh, guard down, which is mostly where his head would be, and then followed that up by uh, slowly disconnecting the treads from each other, the back wheels and treads from the arms by pulling them off these pegs right here because right here are the locking mechanisms to go into the arms and the arms to the legs and you unpull that which ironically these are like the back part to his feet like his heels these parts right here which lock into his forearms or so or elbows and after you pretty much undo that you just unclip the uh, bottom treads here you unclip these treads here from this little locking mechanism here, and it's kind of hard because you don't want to break these things, and because these clips late in the movie line are smaller than the ones you get on the average deluxes of, like, generations, that you're always afraid you're going to break something. And I'm always afraid I'll break something because I'm a very careful person with my toys and my figures that I collect. I can't even get it to unlock right now, which leads me to believe I'm going to break this figure. Um, I don't think I'm going to, but any case, I'm just going to unbend the leg and get this out of my way so I can try to do this. <sighs> Come on, damn it. I like, as you can see, it got stuck because I haven't messed around with this figure. Okay, I got it. Finally. And did I... Oh, I did. I did. I told you. I told you I broke it. I broke it. I'll have to go buy a new one and then put this one in the box and say it broke and then get the money back at Walmart or wherever I bought it. I don't even know where I bought it. Fucking Dark of the Moon piece of shit. Uh, well, anyways, after you flip the legs down, and flip the legs down, you get the... This was locked in. These were locked in like that. You want to pull it down. You flip the knee guard up. You do the same on the other hand. And that's your feet. Down here, you flip out his heels, which help him stand. Flipped out, flipped out. And there's your shockwave, pretty much. This is shockwave's feet. For Shockwave's torso, as you can see, there's not really much you gotta do. And I'm gonna pull this up. So, as you can see, following that, you pretty much just pull the arms up. And you gotta, I, I forget this part here. I think you pull them up, and they're out like this, and then you, you gotta spin them somehow. You gotta spin them. You gotta spin them. And I don't remember how you spin them. Uh, crap. How do you spin these again? So he looks all art. Oh yeah, you don't spin them. You don't spin them. What you do is, now that the arms are like this, you just fold them in like so. Boom. 
and boom. So now that they're folded in, you now spin the arms around, bend them down, spin them around, bend them down, extend the arm, extend the hand out, extend the hand out, lock the abdomen into place correctly so that the chest here, these two prongs, go into the hole. And um, that's about it, because now you have the back here, and the back just folds up like this. The back folds up like this, flips down, I think. I don't even remember. It's been so long since I played with this fucker. It annoys me. If, okay, you spin it around like this, bend it up, and then for the head, there's a little connection point right there that locks into the abdomen chest piece, so it locks everything all in place if I do this correctly. So I like that, so that the chest piece panel... Uh, let me put my flashlight on, luckily for me. I have a flashlight. So right here, you should see the connection points, which is kind of difficult to see. It should look pretty simple. Boom. Right there. Connected in. Everything's locked in place. Everything's not going anywhere. And then the wheels, they just pretty much flip around into the back, like so. And... I, at one time, I think they're supposed to lock into this one wheel back here. Like, because you see these little grooves, like this part is supposed to lock on it, but it doesn't lock. So I think they fucked up when making this toy. Um, then with the cannon, you just lock it into its little butthole here. And then you lock it onto the arm, which is a pain in the ass to do. Because after you get Shockwave done, he's a pretty awesome figure. I mean, he's pretty huge, not so huge. I mean, because the Voyager class kind of got dumbed down a bit. Uh, this season, not this season, this movie, the movie line, they dumbed down a lot of the Voyagers, like, the Voyagers are shorter than, uh, last year, like, as almost as short as last year's, uh, um, last year's deluxe class, like, it's a really great thing, I mean, the details on his chest look cool, like, the ribcage, the mech tech, the whole, the whole purple and that, and that, I mean, it's, it's a great figure, it looks quite menacing, I'm kind of pissed at this little piece chipped off, but you 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 expect that with these shit toys, of Hasbro, like how they have the pegs for their Transformers, that they get jammed, they get stuck, you can't open them. And I'm not too upset, I'm just a little annoyed that it happened during the review that we're shooting. Um, I really liked the design, I really liked it, I really wished uh, in the movie his character did a lot more. Um, the figure has a few hindrances, which are in his shoulders here, which are like the ape-like ape -like kind of hook to it. Like, you have to bend it like this, and he looks like a fucking monkey, because it just looks like that, and he doesn't have really any real artic- Like, he has a lot of articulation, and then he has some hindered articulation. Like, you can't spin his arm about, so you have to spin his whole arm, like, 180, just to do, like, a curve to be, be like, bring it, or I have, like, life or something. Um, it's, it's, a, it's one of those weird things where you're like, why do Transformers do what they do? And, I don't know, it's just one of those things. Um... It's a really great figure. I loved it since I first got it. I actually gave it, like, when you give it, like, uh, out of five stars, it's automatically a five. But then when you have to think about it, like a true ten star, it, it's at least a good eight and a half. This is a great figure. It's right there up with the best. Um, the transformation's easy. It's not so difficult. Just locking and unlocking the mechanisms, as you see, can cause you one little piece. One little fucking piece. And that's all I can say about Shockwave. I mean, great figure. Love it. Um, I, I gl I'm glad Mech Tech got rid of the missile firing gimmicks, because I always hate missile firing gimmicks and toys. And this is just one badass son of a bitch. I mean, um, for anyone who's a Super Sentai fan, or a, uh, or a, um, or a Kamen Rider fan, in a sense, uh, this is almost as big as most mini plot figurines are. And, I mean, it's at least... Mini pla, a mini pla thing. So when you see them standing together, this is the average size for the um, mechas usually. For so that's an automatic five inch. So right here you got about six inches on a figurine. So this is like a good five inch figure. Gundam model kit slash uh, Power Ranger slash Super Sentai model kit goes say great next to uh, Shockwave. So as my angling gets off horribly, you got six inch about six inches to five and a half inches. So um, these figures, like I said, they're dumbed down, they're about the size of a deluxe class, and they're great Voyagers. Um, great, love it, um, 
You should buy it, but be warned. Pieces may break off because this is Hasbro, man, and these are Transformers, so shit happens, and get used to it because, well, it just blows that this thing breaks. So, I don't even have the receipt, so I can't even return this, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just buy a new one at Walmart and put this one in it and get the money back there, so who gives a fuck? I don't care. I'll see you later, YouTube, and bye.